the Supreme Court today to explain the protest. The government has accused protesters of attempting to derail democracy. Although both protest movements are calling for Mr. Sharif's resignation, they are not formally allied. The demonstrations have remained peaceful so far. Meanwhile, Pakistan Prime Minister Nawaz Sharif will address the National Assembly today. New Delhi has asked that India and Pakistan are the only stakeholders on the issue of Jammu and Kashmir as per the similar agreement. Addressing media persons, External Affairs Ministry spokesperson said any approach other than that laid down in the similar agreement and the Lahore Declaration won't kill results. The spokesperson was responding to a media query regarding Pakistan envoy Abdul Basit's remark on Kashmir. The Union Cabinet has approved the Digital India project to transform the country into a digitally empowered knowledge economy. The program will be implemented in a phased manner from the current year till 2018. Briefing reporters after the Cabinet meeting in New Delhi, Law Minister Ravi Shankar Prashad said that it would bring in public accountability through mandated delivery of government services electronically. Mr. Prasad said the cabinet has decided to slash the minimum export price of onion to $350 per ton from $500 per ton. The decision has also been taken in view of the availability of onions in the market. The cabinet also approved the proposal of Nagpur Metro Rail project. A special purpose vehicle, Nagpur Metro Rail Corporation, will be set up for the implementation of the 38.21 kilometer rail project. The cabinet also gave its nod for installing 1,836 base transmission towers in the Naxal areas to augment public communication facilities in the regions.